Hi guys. So if you are a business analyst working on an agile project, then you must watch this video. In this video, I'll tell you what is an acceptance criteria and a super quick and simple way of writing an acceptance criteria. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that you can receive future videos from me. Hi, I'm Sajna Binil. I'm the founder of Business Analysis Hub, the fastest growing community of business analysts in India. So in this video, I'll tell you what is an acceptance criteria, where and when it is used, and the Gherkin technique of writing acceptance criteria. So let's get started. So let me share my screen. Take a look at this mind map on my screen. So what is acceptance criteria? Now acceptance criteria defines the outcomes and conditions that should be met in order for your solution to be acceptable by the key stakeholders. Just like as the name suggests, it is acceptance criteria. It is a set of criteria by which your stakeholders will evaluate your solution and decide whether to accept it or not. Okay, so as I explain more about it, this will become much more clearer to you. Acceptance criteria is always expressed in a testable format, which means the acceptance criteria written by a business analyst should be easy for a tester to translate it into, into a test case. Huh? Many of these acceptance criteria is also used by business users during UAT to perform testing. So who writes the acceptance criteria? Well, it is jointly written by the business analyst and the product owner. The product owner defines the acceptance criteria and the business analyst formulates it in an appropriate condition and attaches it to the user story. Well, third point, when to write one? Well, acceptance criteria are written just after the product backlog refinement meeting. So during the product backlog refinement meeting, the team as well as the business analyst might ask several questions to the product owner. Like for example, are all users allowed to access this feature? What should we do if the users enter invalid data? What happens if so-and-so condition occurs? So in a backlog refinement meeting, the product owner clarifies the list of backlog items which are going to come in the next sprint. Okay, So the high priority backlog items are discussed in the refinement meeting. And in order to uh, further clarify things, the team might have asked these sample questions. Fourth point, how to write an acceptance criteria? Well, acceptance criteria can be written in a very simple format as a bulleted list. Okay, a simple bulleted list. You can also write acceptance criteria using the Gherkin's method. And today's video, we are going to emphasize on the Gherkin's method. What is the Gherkin's method? Now, Gherkin is a domain-specific language used for writing acceptance criteria. Where is it used? It is often used in projects where Cucumber is used as a tool to create automated test cases. So what is the format of this Gherkin technique? The format is, as you see on the screen, scenario, given, when, then. Scenario is a label that you give to the behavior you are going to describe. Given is the beginning state of the scenario. That means it's a precondition. When is a specific action that the user takes and then becomes a testable outcome. Usually a system behavior. Now let's look at this with the help of an example. So I've taken the example of a user clicking on the register now link. So our scenario becomes user clicks the register now link. Given I am on the home page, that, that is the precondition. When I click on the register now link, then I should see the new user registration screen with a sign up using email, sign up using Google, sign up using Facebook option. So as you see in this example, I start off by giving one line label to the scenario I am describing 
I'm describing the scenario for registration. Given I am on the home page, now the registration link is on the home page of the website. So if the user is on the home page, that's when this scenario starts. Okay. And the trigger for this scenario is when I click on the register now link, this is the action of the user. Then what is the outcome? How does the system behave? Then I should see the new registration page with the following options. So I explain all the elements that are seen on the screen. So this is an example of acceptance criteria written using the Gherkin language. Now, a very common question business analysts ask is when not to use it? Well, Gherkin as a language for acceptance criteria is widely used in agile projects. But when should you use it and when should you not use it? I would suggest if your scrum team is mature enough to understand the Gherkin syntax, then you can comfortably use it in your projects. But if your scrum team is relatively new to the scrum processes and many of the team members are not even aware of how to understand these conditions, then my suggestion is, you go via the simple bulleted list format. So write acceptance criteria using the simple bulleted list format. If your scrum team is not a mature team and uh, there are a lot of uh, beginners in the team who do not understand it again. If you uh, write acceptance criteria using Gherkin in a um, team that is relatively new, you will find that most of your time is consumed in explaining these acceptance criteria again and again to the developer and the testing teams because they are not familiar with the syntax. Okay, so that's why I recommend for beginners always go with the simple bulleted format of writing acceptance criteria and use Gherkin only if it is mandated by your projects. Hmm? Certain projects mandate it because they use uh, Cucumber as a testing tool. Then in that case, go ahead and write your acceptance criteria using Gherkin. So that's all in today's video. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. Put your comments and the key takeaways from this video in the comment box below. And let me know what are the new videos you would like to see from me. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching.